This is not going to be a tutorial. Well, it will be a little bit of a tutorial. I'm just going to give you an overview of how I use Stream Deck, how easy it is to use or not. And I'm telling you now, it's quite easy to use. You do have to spend a little bit of time of thinking about how to use it, but generally it's quite easy to use. If I can do it, you can do it, okay? It's quite easy and it's quite good fun. So the Stream Deck, it's really good. I love it, brilliant. It helped me quite a lot, especially on my live streaming. Although sometimes I do mess up by forgetting to press a button or I thought I pressed a button and I hadn't and I'll get to that in a minute. But overall, absolutely love it. This is my second stream deck. I had the smaller one to start with, which my son has now. He uses that. This is the extra large one. It has 32 keys. And don't be fooled by all the blank spaces that you see on here because it has layers. It's just like a PC. You can put a folder in a folder in a folder in a folder. Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, it has multi-layers and it's, it's pretty easy to use. So uh, with that, or without further ado, let's get into the Stream Deck and I'm going to show you some of the features that I use and then I'm going to show you how how to put a clock on, okay? This little clock up here, I'm going to show you how how easy it is to put one on. So uh, with that, let's get on with it, shall we? Right, so this is my home page, my first page. When you first get a Stream Deck, all you'll have is this little icon here and it'll probably be in the middle somewhere like that. Probably about four squares covering it. And you press that and it will take you to the website. Let me just quickly show you. Give it a second or two. There you go. And this is where you can get more information on how to use it. You can get your downloads, stuff like that, that you might need. You don't need to use all their downloads. You can use your own as well. You know, you can use your own pictures, your own icons, whatever you need to do. You, know, you can use your own on your computer or from a website, anything like that, or from here. They're really easy to do. Let me just close that down. Now, I've already started that one program, which is my Streamlabs OBS, this little baby here. See that? That's running, and that's just by pressing this button twice. Actually, once. Once or twice, I can't remember. Press that, and it opens it up. It won't do it now. Let me try it, yeah, once. Uh, this is for my live chat. My, I use Restream Chat and Restream setting up my uh, YouTube. Let me start up my, um, my Restream. Now, th what I use this for is for streaming to Twitch and to YouTube at the same time, very handy. And this is my chat. Give it a couple of seconds and that starts up over here on my other screen, so I have to bring it across. So this is my live chat for when I'm live streaming. Very easy to use, yeah? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's close that down. Don't need that no more. So that's what them three buttons for. Now, this button here is my live folder, and what this allows me to do, these four buttons here, allows me to change scenes on my Streamlabs. My Streamlabs on this baby here again. But not actually on this screen because this is my Yorkies Bits and Bobs screen. On my Yorkie slot screen, I have four different layers and it will switch from one to the other. Like I said, it's very easy to use. No need to panic. So that is the main button. So the first one is a countdown timer for the live stream to go live. The second one is the actual live scene itself. When you see a picture of me and me playing slots, that's when I press that button. Uh, this one is, you know, if I need to go to the toilet or I need to talk to some someone or I need to change something or there's been an error, I press that button and it goes, you know, we'll, we'll be right back. And then the last one is a countdown timer for the end of the live stream. Job done. And then this button over here is my sound effects. So I've got all my sound effects. Let's have a quick listen. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Yeah, fog on. And you don't have to wait to it, you know, play right down to the end of the timer for the sound effects to stop. You can just stop it like this one. Press it again, stop it at any time. And then I have another layer for some more sound effects. These are, I wouldn't say they're dodgy, but they do sometimes get hit with a copyright. So I tend not to use them if I can help it. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. 
I like that one. So that is my sound effects all on one page, easy to do. Also on this one page is, I have a mute button for the mic, not the one I'm wearing. This again is for my live stream when I'm using this mic. If I'm gonna uh, cough or sneeze or need to talk to someone, I press that button. And sometimes I forget to press it again to uh, unmute myself, which can be very annoying, especially, especially to the viewers. And this other mute button is for my speakers. I've cut the speakers here, Logitech speakers. I'll press that and the sound that's coming out of there will be muted. Same as if you do it on your computer. Exactly the same, you just link it up. It's quite easy to do. So that is what this page is mainly for, sound effects, muting and then if I go back one we have my scenes up there now if I go back one again I have a speed test this little baby here if I press that it will run a speed test to see how fast my internet connection is upload and download and my ping how good my ping is. it should be around about I think my ping 10 to 12 my downloads about 950 to a thousand, me uploads about 48 to 50. Let's have a look. So we have nine, oh, 924 at the moment, 11 milliseconds ping, 52.8 upload, and the time is 11.44. See, easy. This, all these things are quite easy to uh, set up, whether it be connecting to a web page or starting up your YouTube channel. Let me just show you, I've got a YouTube button here which I've linked to my YouTube channel. Press that and it will go straight to my YouTube channel. Voila. Close that down. See, easy. I've shown you these three up here. Here's my clock. What I'm gonna do now is show you how to set the clock up. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna give you a little tutorial. Now, when you install Stream Deck, you need to download and install the software that goes with it. And it sits down in the bottom right hand corner and there's these little dots up here. I think you can see that, yeah? Press that, opens it up, and that is exactly what you've got on your Stream Deck. So if it comes up blank, it means you've got nothing on there. And you can go into the layers, the same as what I did on, actually on the Stream Deck. I double press that, opens up another layer. Press that again, opens up another layer, and changes over on the Stream Deck as well. Yeah, see, very easy. You go back, right, we're going to do a clock. Now these on the right hand side, these are all your special features that you need to drag over, your scene select and stuff like that. And I will give you a brief idea of how the, uh, how the scenes work. Could they use shortcuts on your keyboard, like Alt, Alt F1 and stuff like that. I will give you a quick brief over, but I'll quickly go down the list and then I'll show you how to do a clock. So game capture is, well, game capture. Your scenes, stuff like that, your flashbacks, your screenshots. So if you want to take a screenshot, you can just press the button on the Stream Deck or use your keyboard like normal people do. Uh, sound bar, hopefully it's obvious, playing your audio on that through your sound bar. Stream Deck, create a, uh, create a folder. Uh, this, is, this is what I use quite a bit. And that's all set up, setting up timers and all sorts of things adjusting your brightness, switching profiles, really useful. Again, it might look complicated, but it's not. It's quite easy to use. You've got to be patient. Try it once if it doesn't work. Find out what you've done wrong. It's quite easy. No need to panic. Uh, stream less desktop, scene, scene select, mixer audio, don't use none of that. Source, I, I use a bit of source. Not ketchup neither. Systems, there you go, uh, systems, this is what's on your PC. So websites, hotkey switch. Now I do use quite a lot of hotkeys and I will show you what I mean in, in a minute about that. Uh, open, open programs, stuff like that. Twitter, now if you want to send a, an automation message to Twitter that you've already pre-added. Say for instance, you want to let your Twitter know you're going live. You can just press a button and it will send it automatically to Twitter on your behalf. Yeah, very clever. Uh, again, Twitch Studios, I don't use Twitch Studios, I, I use Restream for mine, but if you want to use Twitch Studios, you, again, you can do shortcuts to change scenes and do other stuff. Uh, 
and then we have control center on off on off means it can turn your pc on and off so if you just want to shut it down quickly press the button job done i haven't set that up but i'm thinking about doing that actually now set colors set temperature uh voice mode so you can change your voice uh, i think i should do that anyway because i have a terrible voice hear my voice so you can hear it yourself you know see what you sound like mute on and off which i've already got mute which i showed you earlier uh, custom analog clock and cpu now i do have cpu on in is at two percent two well between two and three percent running at the moment so that just tells you how fast or how much usage your um, cpu is running at and hardly running is tick over in it and analog clock which i'm going to show you in a second as some custom Bar radar, no idea about bar radar, I've never used it, I don't know what it does. Speed test, I do use speed test though, so it must be safe to do that. My YouTube studio uh, stats there, which you know, I showed you earlier, OBS studios, and loads of different stuff. Like I said, you can do so much with this. It's not just what they put on there, you can add your own stuff as well. Now, let's get back to the custom. I'm going to show you how to put a clock in. I'm going to put a clock in here. No, I ain't. I'm going to put it over here. So you, you press your left mouse button, you drag it over, you plonk it in, and voila, that's it. Now, it's showing analog and digital at the same time. Now, if you only want digital, just tick this box here, and we have digital. But we have a shadow, so, so we've got two clocks. So to get rid of the shadow, you go into where it says T, go down here, and show title, because it's showing a title. It's a title you put in there, but it automatically puts a clock in there. So untick that, and that gets rid of that. So now we've just got a clock in there, or digital, but I prefer analog. So untick that, we have analog, with no digital in there. Yeah, easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> and if... If say so, for instance, well I've changed my mind, I don't want it. I don't want it, I don't want it. You can either just click that and delete it, or just right click and go to delete. Delete, gone. That is it. That is it. Now folders, there's one on here that said about folders, and this is a, what I call my live folder, and it's just like a computer. You can do layers on layers on layers, so go infinite and infinite. Right, I thought it'd be easier if I just go through my live slot bit because I've got all my alt set up on there and I'm going to quickly go through that and then I'm going to quickly show you my buttons for changing channels, okay? So let's get back on to that. So we're on the live stream at the moment. Yeah, hello. And that would be that one now. So if you go into the cogs, like we've just done just a minute ago, go down to hotkeys and if you scroll down, now you need to set this up on Streamlabs OBS first. You need to put your scenes in. They go down, left, down, side, down here. Um, not sure if I could do a tutorial because it's been ages since I've done anything like this. So you go down here, set up your scene. So we've got starting scene, live scene, intermission, which I don't use, and be right back, and stream ending soon. Yeah, so basically four. Four I use, or four I have set up. And then once you've done that, they will appear up here in your hotkeys. So first one is stream starting soon. Scroll down and right down the bottom here, because this is all set up, see, we have all plus one. So over here, if I click on that, all plus one. So if I press this now, it's basically doing the same as what the keyboard does, is pressing all plus one just one push of a button which is my starting screen so this is where I start so it will come up live and it will have a countdown timer on it and play some music which I've muted or turned the volume down at the moment now if I go over to live it's all plus two so if I press this it will go to all plus two let me just show you in the actual hotkey scroll down again so starting scene there live scene Scroll down. I have a couple of other things on here as well, all set up, although I haven't used them for a while, like Show Sky Vegas. And what that does, it will appear up here in this little box here, it will show that I'm playing Sky Vegas. But I haven't been using that for a little while. 
I could change it to something else, but I might do in the future. So if you scroll down again, we're going, where are we going? We're going right down here. It's a quite a big one, this one. I'm not, oh, there it is. Alt plus two. I thought I'd gone past it. Alt plus two. Intermission. Like I said, as far as I can remember. Ah, that's on alt plus three. I've actually disabled that one. I don't actually use that one. And be right back is alt plus four. So if I go over here to be right back, alt plus four. See, easy. And then stream ending should be, should say alt plus five. Alt plus five. And you can do loads of other things on here as well. There's so much, like I said, there's so much you can actually do. But if you take your time, it's quite easy to do and it's not too scary. Now, just quickly let me go through how it works. So, live, live, or starting soon live. So, we're live. We're not actually live right now, but we are starting soon. You know, people are like, oh, look, Yorkie's, Yorkie's live stream starting soon. Then we go to live and I go, hello. Make sure the, <laughs> make sure the mute button is not muted. And then, I'm, oh, I need to go to the toilet. Be back in a minute. We'll be right back. And again, playing some music to quickly show. I'll let you listen. Yeah. And then we go to, oh, good night, God bless, and happy new year, whatever. And then we have a countdown timer. Uh, it's very good, actually. Uh, one of my viewers set this up for me in the countdown timer and that. And all the overview, you know, all this boulder and that. he done all that for me. Thank you, Paulus to Lawless. Yeah, very helpful. Yeah, so very easy to do. Love the stream deck. Have no issue with it whatsoever. It just works. The only thing you have to be careful of, there are some programs on the stream deck that will not work if the cable is too long. Seriously, if you use an extended cable, which I do, well, I use the stream deck goes into my KVM switch and then the KVM switch splits it up. It seems to be working fine, but should you have any issues and you're using the extended cable, it could be because you're using the extended cable. Something to bear in mind. I did find this out a few years ago and I think, why isn't this working? You know, everything else is working, but it's not working. And it's all to do with using an extension lead. Don't ask me why, but it just does that. So that is it. That That is the, the basics of, you know, my setup anyway. So with that, let me know in the comments if you found this video informative and helpful. And... If you need to ask any questions, you know what to do. Place a comment in the comment section and I will try and answer them. Or maybe you need another video for me to do. I'm not probably the best person in the world to do a video on a tutorial on Stream Deck. Like I said, there are plenty out there that will teach you loads of different things. But I just wanted to give you a basic overview of my setup and how it all works. So with that, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and give me the thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching.